folks, my name is Eric Barnfein. I'm coming to you here from Martini RV. I am the West Coast Berkshire rep for Forest River, and I'd like to show you guys the 40E floor plan. So now we're inside the 40E. A couple key features, you'll see the nice 22 and a half cubic foot refrigerator here. It is a French door style fridge, lots of storage. Next to the fridge, you're gonna find the induction cooktop along with the convection microwave. Below that, you will find the dishwasher. Right next to the induction cooktop, you're gonna see the nice deep single bowl farmhouse style sink. This sink will accept accessories to go on top such as a drying rack or a cutting board. Your faucet will pull out. Real hardwood cabinets and door faces. Nice deep storage. Behind the TV you are gonna pick up some more additional storage along with the safe. In the countertop space underneath the TV, you will get a pop-up outlet. You're gonna have two 110 receptacles and then you're gonna have two USB plugins charging underneath, along with a lot of storage. Next to that, you're gonna pick up your electric fireplace. One of the largest features on this coach that customers seem to gravitate towards is this toe kick lighting below and also this lighted countertop edge. Ne above the fireplace, you're going to find a 7-inch monitor that is going to display your multiplex system. This multiplex system is going to turn your coach into a smart house. It's going to control your lighting, your thermostats. It's going to tell you your tank, tank levels. As we move behind here, what you're going to find is your pantry with adjustable shelving. Nice and tall pantry. You're able to fit a lot of goods in here. As we move back to this side of the coach, you're going to find a jackknife sofa here. Moving up to the dinette. The unique thing about our dinette is that we can actually fit four people sitting at this dinette. You're going to find, like every Berkshire, Berkshire XL or XLT, our cab over bunk feature. This bunk is a 500 pound capacity weight limit figure two kids or one real large adult. All the way in the rear bath, what you're going to find is solid surface countertop with a nice deep sink. You got a nice sized medicine cabinet here. Also additional storage here behind the shower. As we move into the shower, it's a nice wide shower. One of the key fit systems that we have in the shower is going to be the AquaView Shower Miser system. That system is going to help increase your dry camping time by up to 20%. Across from the shower, you're going to find your stackable washer and dryer. Right next to your washer and dryer, you're going to find your Temecula Macerator Toilet. And also, you're going to pick up a little storage for toilet paper above it. Now we're standing in the bedroom of the 40E. Across from the bed, you're going to pick up nice, deep wardrobe space. The unique thing about this wardrobe space is that you're going to have closet rods that actually pull out, giving you better access. So you'll have three of those. Below the middle closet, you will pick up some drawers. Nice full extension ball bearing drawer guides. And then you'll also pick up some drawers over here. You're even going to pick up some storage behind this TV in your bedroom. The bedroom TV is going to be a 32 inch TV. It is an LG TV and it should be a smart TV. If we look to the ceiling, in the bedroom in the XL line you will pick up a ceiling fan. And then right below that you'll we'll start your king size bed. The bed is going to be a 72 by 80 inch mattress. In this XL line you're going to have a nice sort of pillow top mattress. A lot of people like to ask, is there storage underneath the bed? You will pick up a little bit of storage space. Great for extra sheets. On the front of your bed base, you're going to find two GFI resets. Your Jaboni solar controller. Next to that, you're going to actually have your breaker box for the coach. In the midship of the coach, 
you're going to find our bunkhouse. This bunkhouse is great because it can be used for storage. I like these doors because the first thing you're going to find, it's a magnetic latch. I can fold them in. Now I have a nice big space here that even though that it's a bunkhouse, it's going to double as storage space. Top bunk flips up, nice big wardrobe closet. Also with these doors, I can shut them like this if need be. In the midship bath, you will find that this is a full bath. So this coach will have two showers. This is going to be the midship size shower. It is also going to have that shower miser system in it to help conserve your water. Next, you're going to find the toilet and then finally the solid surface countertop with a nice deep sink. Also, one thing that I always like to point out is the depth of our medicine cabinet. The medicine cabinet is got, not going to be intrusive on me when I go to wash my hands. In the cockpit of the 40E or any Berkshire or Berkshire XL, what you're going to find is on the driver's side, you're going to get a 110 outlet, and you're also going to get a 12 volt plug. Coming around the side, you're going to have your equalizer jack hydraulic system, along with your wireless charging pad, dual cup holders. New for 2020 with Freightliner this year, you're going to find the digital dash. This dash comes from the Mercedes S Class, since both companies are a Daimler company. Also, New for us this year, we have a new dash design. If you look at our dash, it's going to be nice and sleek going across. It's going to be more of a molded ABS style dash. A couple key features. You, what you're going to find is your shifter is actually built into your steer, steering column here. Moving across even further, you're going to have your nice 10.1 inch stereo. This will have GPS built into it. And then you're going to have all your gauges for whether it's your nightshade, your auxiliary start, your map lights, fans, horn, and your generator start. One very unique feature with the Berkshire product line, what you're going to find is that we always do an overhead mounted mirror. The reason we do an overhead mounted mirror is because it's going to increase your visibility. If you look at every other diesel Class A built, they're all going to have mirrors that are hung beneath here and reach up. Because we do this overhead mounted mirror, like I said, it's going to give you more visibility. You're also going to find a turn signal activated camera in this mirror to increase your vision when driving down the road. Also with this front cap, what I always like to point out is the nice big windshield. Beneath there, you're going to find that you're going to have a diamond shield or a nice 3M style product going across the front as a protective bra. That way you don't damage your paint job. Finally, in the middle here, what you're gonna find is that everything that we build has a slide out generator on it. On this XL line, we run the Cummins 10,000 generator on any floor plan that is 40 feet or above. One unique feature about this Berkshire product line is gonna be our entry door. The nice thing about our entry door it's nice and thick and heavy. It's going to be better on insulation. It's going to be better on road, road noise. Next to this nice grab handle, you're going to find our keyless entry. It's a great feature so I can leave my keys inside the safe in the unit while I'm out exploring when camping. As we move behind, as we move behind here, you're going to find one side of your dual fill for your fuel tank. It's going to be a 100 gallon tank. There are locks on our doors. Moving down, you're going to find your slide. This first slide is going to be a hydraulic slide along with this nice frameless windows above. They are going to be dual pane frameless windows. So a little bit better on the insulation factor. Beneath the slide, you're going to find primarily where the majority of your storage is on the outside of the coach. The middle bay here will have a slide out tray that will slide out both sides. One thing that I'd like to talk about at this point is our paint job. The paint job is going to be the second largest investment on your coach. One thing that we do differently than the competition is we put four layers of clear coat over the base of the paint. That way, if you get any scratches, it's going to buff out. 
moving down or above my head, what you're gonna find is your armless awning. It is gonna be a dual pitch awning. It is also gonna have a motion or wind sensor in it. Right underneath the awning, you're gonna find your exterior TV. This is gonna be a 39 inch LG smart TV. Below the TV, you will find a sound bar. I can Bluetooth my phone for music to the sound bar. It also has a radio built in. As we keep moving down the coach, this next bay past your pass-through storage is gonna be the opposite side of your plumbing bay. So it's just gonna be an access panel above your freshwater tank or black and gray tanks. The nice thing about our storage or baggage doors is they're gonna be fully aluminum baggage doors. They are gonna be able to support some weight. So meaning if I put my weight on this door, it's not gonna bend. Also, one more unique feature with the Berkshire is that this chassis skirt here, we actually aluminize along with powder coat. So by us aluminizing this chassis skirt, it's gonna make it to where it is the most rust resistant in the industry. Our true base foundation system is a sturdy foundation to make it to where we don't get flex in the floor of the coach. It also is gonna enhance the ride quality of the coach. On the roof of this motorhome, what you're gonna find is a one piece fiberglass roof. In this last bay on the driver's side, you're gonna find your two chassis batteries. There also is a hard disconnect to reduce the parasitic draw on the batteries if the coach is in storage. These two batteries will be maintenance free. If we move up to the next bay, a couple of key things that you're gonna find. Number one is gonna be your auto transfer switch with surge protector, your 50 amp power cord, and your 2000 watt magnum energy inverter. And the next bay up, what you're gonna find is your 13 gallon DEF tank. A lot of people always ask, one of the probably most popular questions when I talk to customers is gonna be, how often do I need to fill up that DEF tank? About once every three fills. So if you look at it and say, hey, I have a 100 gallon tank on this coach, about every third fill, I'm gonna to wanna to check my DEF tank to make sure they have DEF fluid. This next bay here is something completely different that Berkshire does versus any other competition. So the second benefit that running a water manifold system gives you is that if I ever have an issue with any of the faucets in my coach, I can isolate the issues by turning, them, turning off the valve here. Also with Berkshire or the Berkshire product line, you're gonna find a full whole house water filtration system. Right now, this is gonna be pink because this coach was winterized before it left the plant. On the driver's side of the coach, in these middle bays here, you're gonna find that this is the other side of your pass-through storage. One thing that we do do on the XL line that we don't do on the regular Berkshire, Berkshire line is the central vac here. Hey folks, in closing, the last thing that I'd like to tell you is that the wood color of this coach, this was our executive dark cherry wood color. We do offer two additional wood colors. And then this paint job is actually gonna be our smoky gray paint job. And lastly, you, will, you can find this coach at D Martini RV located in Grass Valley, California. Thank you.